Hey y'all, so this is the Bible story for this coming Sunday. Hello friends, welcome aboard as we set sail for adventure. Boy, have I got a whale of a tale to tell you lads and lassies. Okay, in this particular true story, we're not sure if it's a whale, but we do know that there is a really big fish involved. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, I need to tell you who this story is all about. Raise your hand if you've ever heard about a guy named Jonah from the Bible. Awesome. One day, God told Jonah to go to the great city of Nineveh, but there was one big problem. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Nineveh was a pretty big city full of people who made bad choices. God wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh and tell the people there to stop making bad choices and to go God's way. But Jonah did not want to go. Instead of going, instead of going God's way, Jonah hopped on a boat to take off in the wrong direction. Do you think Jonah made the right, right choice? Nope. God told Jonah to do what was right, but he didn't go God's way. So God sent a big storm to get Jonah's attention. Everyone, help me create our storm. First, we need the wind. Can you rub your hands together like this? And there was rain. Can you pat your legs? Yes, it rained harder and harder and faster and faster. When Jonah, when Jonah heard the storm, he knew God had sent it for him. He wanted to save the other people on the ship, so he knew he had to get out of that boat. He jumped into the water. God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah up. Can you believe it? Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh, but do you think he should have just gone God's way? Yes, sure because God's way is perfect. He loves everyone and wants what's best for us. But Jonah didn't go God's way. He went his own way. And now here he is inside a smelly fish. But Jonah was sorry and he prayed to God. He asked for another chance to go God's way. So God made the giant fish spit him out. As soon as Jonah was on dry land, he knew what he had to do. He had to go God's way. So Jonah went to Nineveh to tell the people there to go God's way. And do you know what happened? Jonah told them about God's way and how perfect it is, and they decided to go God's way too. Hooray! So Jonah learned through a pretty crazy journey to go God's way, and we should go God's way too. His way is perfect. We should always listen to God because God loves us, and His way is the best way. It's perfect. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yep. I'm not sure I heard you. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Let's thank God for showing us the best way, the perfect way. And then your prayer. Heavenly Father, you are amazing. You gave Jonah's, Jonah a very clear direction. And when we didn't go your perfect way, you certainly got his attention. Help us to remember that your way is perfect and that we can always follow you because you love us. In Jesus' name, amen.